while describing a political situation, I have heard self-styled analysts describe Kenya as a jungle. I find this characterization misleading and honestly unfair to the animals of the wild. I am what you would call an enthusiast of the wild and of nature. Over the years, I have learned that were it not for human interference, the jungle is the most organized, efficient, and balanced ecosystem you can imagine of. The Kenyan political scene, on the other hand, is the most chaotic, inefficient, and imbalanced system you can think of. Comparing our political space with the jungle is an insult on the animals of the wild. There are many reasons why you cannot compare the Kenyan socio-political situation with the jungle. And in this episode, I will highlight a few. Welcome. This is Matters Arising. I should start with the obvious difference between Kenya and the jungle. Impunity. In the jungle, you will not survive riding on impunity. Any error of omission or commission on the part of any jungle dweller, even the most powerful, high and mighty, will be severely punished and mostly by death. Whether you are a predator or prey, you cannot afford transgressions of the jungle law because you will pay. In contrast, the Kenyan social and political space rewards the most corrupt and depraved among us. Thieves, robbers, convicted criminals, rapists, chauvinists, liars, manipulators, lazy bones, charlatans, busybodies, and all manner of depraved human beings find their way into so-called success and sadly, even into leadership. Instead of punishing them, like the jungle does, we elevate and worship them, seek their association, and we are proud to take selfies and upload them on our social media accounts and pitiably even seek their counsel and advice. In the jungle, you die for your mistakes. In Kenya, you are elected into high office for your mistakes and called Muheshimiwa. If Kenya was a jungle, Almost all of the leaders and so-called successful people that we praise and elevate would be very dead. Secondly, and for me this is the most important contrast, the animals of the wild know the value of protecting, nurturing and teaching the next generation how to do right by themselves and by others. The seriousness with which animals take to the nurturing of the next generation would put the best parents among us to shame. While we are spoiling the next generation in the name of love, animals are training their offspring that you cannot make mistakes and if you make them, you shall surely pay for them. By contrast, we are now nurturing a generation of youth who think that it is all right to be corrupt that it does not matter how you make your money, make it anyway. Worse still, once you make it, you will be called Muheshimiwa regardless. Animals teach their young ones the procedures and protocols of the jungle, the rules of nature, and how to live in harmony with them. We, on the other hand, are teaching our youth how to circumvent the procedures and protocols of civilized society and how to avoid being held to account. There is something that I have found worse than teaching our youth impunity. When we are not teaching them bad manners and impunity, we are actually competing with them. The experience of many young people is that those people in the family, in the church, in school or at work, who are supposed to assist, mentor, and support them are actually competing with them. 
you only need to speak to young people who are in junior positions at their workplaces. While a few lucky ones are lucky enough to get some support and help from their seniors and their superiors, most are begrudged their positions and if they show any ambition, they are told that they are moving too fast. While the animals of the jungle experience the same tensions between generations, animals are wise enough to let the situation be. They know that the young generation shouldn't be stopped and are anyway unstoppable. They have taught their young ones well so that when the time comes for them to take over, they are not afraid to stand their ground and fight for their position again, even unto death. For us, having emasculated our youth, they are unable or unwilling to stand up to a society that has shortchanged them. Climbing to an earned position of influence and power is more guaranteed to young animals that play by the rules. Such is not guaranteed to our young people, especially those who play by the rules. Most of them are condemned a life of mediocrity and timidity. The issue of nature brings me to my last reason why you cannot compare our society with the jungle. Wild animals greatly respect the cycles of nature and have learned to get in tune with its rhythms. Their natural roles are the preservation and not the destruction of nature. It is said that if all insects disappeared from the planet, life as we know it would be extinct in 50 years. While, in contrast, if all human beings disappeared from the planet, all forms of life on Earth would flourish. In Kenya, we are already feeling the effects of our destruction of our environment, and even when we see and experience these effects, we are unable to decisively arrest the situation. Like we have shortchanged and short-circuited social norms through impunity, we think we can short-circuit natural laws with the same impunity. And on this count, aren't animals of the wild brighter than us? It is not true that we live in a jungle. If we did, there would be no impunity. No one would survive it, much less become successful out of it. If we were a jungle, we would be treating our youth and children in a different way. We would teach them that corruption will be punished and we would teach them to live in harmony with the procedures and protocols of nature. If we were in the jungle, we would not be destroying ourselves by destroying the environment that gives us life and sustenance with impunity. I think that our so-called political analysts need to look for another analogy to describe our corrupt, mediocre and destructive society. Do not compare us to the jungle. We are the opposite of the jungle. The jungle is a place of ruthless efficiency, totally averse to impunity, adept at nurturing the next generation, and totally, totally in harmony with nature. If you're looking to compare, do not compare Kenya with the jungle, please. Do not insult the animals of the wild. For matters arising, I am Professor Michael.